What's going on guys, for this video I'm gonna be commentating over another game I played on my second account recently. Um, I'm currently sitting at Platinum 2, almost Platinum 1 on my on this account, which is my smurf, but it actually has like mid-diamond MMR, so almost all my opponents and teammates are diamond. So I'm just gonna call it a diamond game for this one. Um, I'm against the Volley Bear, I'm just gonna try to go in depth on what my thoughts were during this. I 1v9 carried, uh, as you'll see in the future. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much gonna go in depth on what I did, why I did it, and just learn so I can learn you how to play this certain matchups and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> so they start out with a little invade, doesn't work for them. So my rise is just sitting FK under tower, that's something I really hate to see always. I would like him to go cover something, but it's okay, since they showed bot. I have a pretty good team comp. Orn made is actually pretty good with our when uh, Rise is top. I have very good scaling with Rise, Orn items, and myself and the S Rail, but he is going to grief and throw a little bit in the future because he kind of inted and got tilted. I took all the resources into myself. I just funneled all the experience and gold I could into myself because I know I can carry and he can't. And that kind of tilted him, so he just blew sums and all that kind of stuff for nothing. So I'm just gonna speed up the first clear. It's just a red, blue to Gromp. Then I look to gank. So we see Volibear on his Gromp right now. He's just about finished. Actually gonna lower the volume real quick. Yeah, so I try to gank top. Rise is already going in, but he wards this and I see it because he warded. So I decide to back off. There's nothing I can do. Maybe Rice can solo kill him, I don't think that happens in the end. No, so he's just gonna reset. We'll see Volibear on the ward right now, but I, here right now I kill Echo, I think. Cause yeah, it's not warded. Yeah, I saw him walk here, and then he kind of just ints. And we got his flash too. That's a big kill. <coughs> I know Volibear is around. But he can't really kill me since uh, I have Orn with me and I'm just getting uh, the middle prior, so. No, right now I'm just waiting for my mark, so I'm just gonna pause it. Um, the Scuttles of course spawn at 3.15, they just spawned, so my mark is bot. Uh, I didn't really have anything to do, so I decided to help him shove out and wait until the Scuttle spawns so I can decide if I go top or bot, because it's a 50-50 anyway. And yeah, so I have complete mid prior. I see him there. I don't have bot prior, but I feel pretty safe because Echo is still in base. He's walking top and he is clearing that wave. And I also have smite, so I can just take this for free. Even if their bot lane moves, which I think they do in the end a little bit, yeah. So they're moving, but I'm just pushing it to the top because I know I have prior there. So I rise, just killed the Garen barely. My own TP is in, that's a good TP. But my rise ends up in thing in the end. I don't think he sh like he walks back in right now. Yeah, I don't know why. And the Echo is running phase rush, so I'm pretty sure he dies too. So yeah, the rise kind of entered that. But I took the time uh, because I see Volibear top to just take his camps. I know the Gromp is level 2 because he... Uh, I, I've played Volibear quite a bit, so I know what his clear is, and I know that he is pretty much a single target clearer like Kindred, so he will have cleared this on his first go. Now it's level 2, so it's gonna give me a lot more XP. And it also gets marked right at the end, so it's very nice. I'm sitting at 2 marks. So, yeah, I decided to gang bot because they're overstaying. Over push time in. And I get a nice double kill. So I'm huge right now. I before my first back I'm gonna get three kills. Yeah, right now I should just look to back out of vision. Garen's actually moving in, so was scared he might get a kill or something, but Rise getting ganked again soon. So 
So add a huge back. When I if I can get my skirmisher saber and two long swords, I'll probably always be happy. But I got my claw field, so that cooldown reduction is very handy, and I also got boots, so I'm huge right now. I'm way ahead of the volibear. Yeah, rice dies again. Volibear flash time is not a whole lot he can do there. So I'm just going to look to get the dragon since I just saw Volibear top and I place the ping first to see if they have vision. Then drop my wall so he can aggro the drake before it knocks you back and then just jump in. It's super safe to do this because I just saw the Volibear top and uh, my mid um, it kind of has prior because Garen is pretty low and I see them on the tower so I'll see them if they move over. So yeah, my thought process at this point, since I'm 3-0, uh, my rise is kind of inting and my Orin is a little bit behind and my bot lane's even. Um, I want to try to play from bot as much as possible because I just want to let rise go up. Um, don't, I didn't see a whole lot of kill potential, he died again, uh, against the Garen, but in the end we do up killing him a lot because he overstays. So yeah, I'm just playing bot. They're out of vision, so there's not a whole lot we can do, but... Just wasting a lot of time, but it's okay. I'm still super far ahead of Volibear. I tried to gank him, but Rise doesn't cancel him in time, but it's okay. So right now I'm just looking to farm for my level 6, since I'm so ahead I have a big shutdown. Uh, without my ult, Echo can pretty much one-shot me, so I want to get my ult before I do anything really. My bot lane died 2v2. I was waiting to... Maybe one shot him with my red my taking, but it didn't really work out. They're in lose vision, it's kind of unfortunate, but it's okay. So I know their bot lane's moving, because we saw that on the map. So I'm just gonna walk top to my own for safety. And I have ult, so I'm fine right here to fight if we have to. Which I'm pretty sure we do here at the end, we got a pretty good fight. Yeah, because they decide to go on Orn, but he's super tanky, so... And Echo just jumps on me without ult. So that's a good fight overall. I got two more kills. Um, I shot down on Echo, I believe. Yeah, so I got 450 gold from one kill. That's super good. It's hard to say who outscales who though, because we have good scaling, but they have um, triple uh, frontline. We only have one, and uh, every tank scales pretty well, uh, ex especially Garen and Volibear. Echo actually scales pretty well, and Varus too. Because my Ezra would scale, but he he has been used as like the whole game. Uh, you'll see in the future, he just starts griefing. So we saw Garen walk around, and I got a good kill here. He can get his flash. There's not a whole lot for me to do at the moment. Drake is up soon, I think. 
Yeah, Volibear actually gets uh, pretty, he's, he's pretty strong right now, but he gets actually huge. To the point that he becomes the main focus. But gets executed, I think, yeah, that's fine. So I see Volibear, they're getting the bot tower, so it's completely safe to go for this mark. Um, you typically always want to go for marks on Kindred if you see the enemy jungler or uh, more enemies on the other side of the map. And we can even kill the Garen here, I think. Yeah, so Orn as ult, um, I'm paying his ult. We just see him down and he tries to back, or he tries to go back on me, the Garen. So I get another free kill. I'm huge. I am sitting at 7 kills at 11 minutes. Already have my Warrior and Berserkers and I'm sitting on a lot of gold again, so... The Volivir is ahead in XP because he's he just got like two or three waves bot uh, from taking that tower and they got first tower. So at this point, um, we are even in gold, but almost all the gold on my team is being funneled into me and on their team, Varus, their mid and Volibear are actually pretty strong. So we are actually a bit behind my team. Pretty sure we lose this Drake. So I'm just checking in with W. I'm just gonna look to kill Varus when we want him. I know I can do it, so it was actually pretty close. Right here, I get the Volibear, I'm pretty sure. Actually, Rise gets it. That's good though. I'm already super fed. Um, it's just kind of in by him to um, ult in, but he gets away somehow, though. Should go base soon. I have a lot of gold. I got two more kills there. The kill from earlier, yeah. Recalling an award though. <coughs> so I had a feeling uh, when Volibear would go for my mark and then into Drake. So I maybe shouldn't have back, but if like you can see, I bought a BS run and a crit clock, so I was sitting at around 2.2k gold. That's I have to base before the dragon because this is a huge power spike. Or actually solo kills and that's good. But he's way too low to do anything at Drake. I'm pretty sure they do end up getting the Drake in the end. So I'm just gonna point out that since I am 8-0 at four, or yeah, 40 minutes, uh, I have a lot of items. I'm playing super passive because I give away a 1k shutdown gold if I die by someone. Um, so I don't really want to die this whole game because um, if I die and I'm 1v9, like you can see my team's not doing too hot. Um, the game is basically over. Uh, when, when you're in this uh, situation where you can 1v9 and you're the solo carry, you actually just want to stay alive and do everything to stay alive, even if it means giving up Drake, letting your teammates die, because I'm not gonna help this guy. Even though Ezra is here, uh, he's gonna get one shot and I'll just be wasting time, so. Yeah, he flamed me for playing too passive here, but there's really no reason for me to help him, so. You just have to make your own decisions. If you don't think it's a good fight, even if your teams flame you, um, if you know you made the right decision, just don't feel bad about it. Just mute the guy. That's what I did. But actually, it gets a pretty good ult, but Dragon's too low when it gets out. But we do get one kill, I think, in the end, so it's not too bad. At least it's something. Yeah, my red smite and red buff finishes him off. And then we, need, we just need to disengage. We're in a 4v4, but they're way more healthy, so... So Volibear is actually huge, he has a good shutdown, so I want to try to kill him, funnel more gold into myself. 
Like, you'll see me pr uh, play pretty selfish. Um, I take all my camps almost, I don't give them away. I take mid farm, mid CS, and that kind of stuff. Uh, XP to just get myself ahead, even if your teammates flame you. Like, this is low diamond. Um, so people will get pretty pissed if you take all the gold and farm for yourself. You'll see the Ezra in a bit, he just ints and um, blows his summoners just because I take some farm. But I know that he's gonna be useless. Uh, yes, he doesn't even have one item completed at 50 minutes. And I'm pretty huge, I have almost have Infinity Edge. So I just wanna funnel more gold into myself. That's absolutely the right call. Because I can, I skill pretty well and I dominated early game. So I just wanna drag out the game to for my team to scale and to get Orn items and that kind of stuff. Yeah, we shouldn't have dived this, dove this. One wasted ult. We just need one to get tower. He dies in the end, but we got a tower at least. Yeah, the big reason why I'm rushing Infinity Edge, I think we all get out here. Uh, the main reason I'm rushing Infinity Edge is because I have an Orn on my team and he can upgrade it. Um, and Molten Edge is actually a very strong item, so. And I'm super far ahead. I just want to dish out the most damage possible on Infinity Edge. is super good when you're this ahead. I can't purchase it right now. So we kill Garen again here. He's overstaying a lot, so that's basically free gold. It's not really worth a lot, but we get pressure off the map. Yeah, it's actually only worth 55 gold, so it's it's, it's less than a can of minion. But when, if we kill him, we get pressure off the map. Um, the enemy starts tilting, uh, and they might flame him or whatever. And that's that's also a win condition if the enemy's mental drops. So right now we should just wait and fight for objectives. Don't really care about Herald because turret platings are gone. I just wanna prioritize on Drakes. It's Infernal Soul, so it's actually very good for me to keep snowballing and carry even harder if we can get some Infernal Drakes. So I'm pretty sure we kill Echo here. We have a good roam on him and with Bard too. I'm going around on the top. So I'm just being careful of his ult. I'm just gonna queue over and go straight to his ult. Yeah, he gets away in the end, but he flashed away and we still get the thrash. They get Herald, but again, I don't really care. It's not gonna get a whole lot of value. So I'm sitting at 11-0. Can't buy my Infinity Edge now for sure. And I should look to reset before the Dragon spawns, yeah. I think they don't even get the star with Herald. They use a lot of resource on Orn, but he still lives. Right now I'm walking top. So I know they both don't have flash because they both flash to kill Orn. I'm just gonna flash on this guy and not risk it. And right now I got a big shutdown. That's a... Uh, let's see, that's a 700 gold kill. 400 for the bounty and 300 for the standard kill gold. That's huge. I just got my Infinity Edge and I got a whole bunch of gold again. I'm building towards Phantom Dancer to survive more and get more crit. Works well with my Infinity Edge. Yeah, we should look to play for the Inferno Drake. I'm not gonna ult this guy, he flamed me because I didn't ult him, but it's a long cooldown, I just need to keep myself alive, so. In this case, it's completely fine to just save ult and use it for yourself. Um, my Ezreal isn't worth anything, I'm worth 1,000 uh, 1, gold actually, so I just want to keep it for myself and 
deny them the 1k gold. I don't care if my teammates die. Bart ain't here, I don't know what he was doing. Yeah, and then I want to fight, but it doesn't really look like a good fight, so I decided to back off and let Orn die too. Yeah, so they're all here, we're in a 3v4 first of all, and my rise is not doing too well, so... Just gonna let them all die. There's no reason for me to fight, I would just give away more, a lot more gold. Yeah, now they can bear him, but can't really do anything about it. They actually don't even do Baron, I'm pretty sure. If they got Baron here, the game would have been pretty hard. It was still very hard, because my team didn't wasn't really useful for the rest of the game, so... I just let him die again. Uh, he pinged my R again, like you can see in the left. If I ult him there, I'm just stalling um, for them to kill me too, so it's no reason for me to ult him. People don't really understand that Kindred ult is, first of all, very high cooldown, and it's not worth to save a teammate that's not worth any gold, so... Got a good shot down there. 450 gold and I get my mark. I'm sitting at 8 marks, so I'm stacking very nicely. Stacks are... Your marks are actually very important to 1v9 games, because it gives you the auto-attack range, most of all. That's the most important to uh, help me kite out the Garen Volibear Echo. So just put my Phantom Dancer, so I'm, I'm huge right now, I'm, I can actually survive pretty well. And I'm going BF Sword for um, Guardian Angel, because uh, again, I just want to stay alive. I'm extremely fed. Yeah, so now I'm just... Um, soon I'll take the midway from Ezra, because he's useless anyway. And I think he just griefs his flash, because he's so tilted. People in this elo just don't accept free wins. I also told my support and my team that they should kind of ignore Ezreal, um, that I'm basically the new AD carry, they should peel for me, because that's definitely the right call, and that tilted him even more, somehow. Yeah, so right there, just go back. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take the cannon um, and just try to take all the gold and then he just griefs. Don't understand why, because it's definitely the right call. I'm super fed. Um, I'm super far ahead of everyone else in the game. Um, Sitting at a lot of gold, so I just want to get my GA as soon as possible, stopwatch first. Um, and this guy just decides to grief his sumps and that kind of stuff. For no reason. But I don't really care. Uh, I think if he would go AFK, I could still probably win if my team plays around me, so... So my rice is just mirroring the Garen, which is fine. Um, I don't know what Orn was doing here. Because I can't 1v1 this guy straight up. He just runs me down, one-shots me. So I need some peeling from my team. But then Orn goes in for some reason. They have two bot though, so I don't have a lot of damage to kill Baron. Rice dies though, I think. Yep. So they started the Baron. I'm pretty sure they get it in the end. Yeah, since we're all bot, they can do it. They do it super slow, as you can see, but they have all the time they need. Um, so yeah, Drake's coming up in like 10 seconds. I'm just gonna try to trade this. I would have liked to see my team help me, because it was a pretty risky call to go by myself, but it did a lot of damage, luckily. So he didn't see me, I think. Yeah, I'm out of vision, that's good. So their team is coming now, luckily I destroyed the dragon. 
And I can just get out. So at least I traded objective for objective. We're sitting at three drakes. Almost have the soul. So at least I got something done for my team. When you have an objective like Baron that's not contestable, like that case where three bots, so it's nothing we can do there. Maybe Ezra can steal it, but it's not likely. Uh, try to trade objectives. Because at least now the enemy feels pretty pressured um, that we are almost at Dragon Soul Point, so they have to contest next Drake. Yeah, we're actually super far behind in gold. If you look at the gold, we're 5k down. That's huge. That's a lot. It's pretty hard to come back from. But luckily I managed to do it. They're using a lot of their cooldowns and stuff to kill Orn, which is actually fine by me. As long as they don't use all that th all those things on me, I can just dish out damage from backline. Yeah, right now we have a pretty good fight. I, I bought stopwatch, so I'm completely fine here. I even kill Echo before I stopwatch, that's very good. And then my team can clean up. They used a lot on me again, so... Their main damage, which was Echo, uh, was actually on me. And he didn't manage to kill me, so that's huge. Now we can just run down mid and push. We can end though, but... Can't, I mean. We just get any event back off. Yes, I'm just gonna take a base. I... Completed my full Guardian Angel and got Executioners. I uh, would have liked to get this a little bit sooner because they have Volibear heal from his passive um, versus building lifesteal. Uh, that's already actually enough because their Volibear is their main threat and that passive can really carry a fight. So me having Executioner is super good. I'm just building for a Mortal Reminder because they have three tanks. Garen, Volibear and... Um, Thresh, they're all, he's stacking armor for sure, he's building armor right now, we also have ninja tabby, so I just want to have armor pen. I already have an, uh, enough damage, so I just want to look to get some utility and more reminder is always a good last option. If the enemy team doesn't have a lot of feeling, uh, Lord Dominix is better, but... So it's nothing really happening right now. I do know that next fight, um, if we kill them... Oops, went back a little bit. If we kill them, uh, we can end the game. So we're just looking for that. And Dragon is coming up soon, like 50-ish seconds. So we just want to fight there. And right there you'll see what I mean by playing super passive and safe, just to stay alive. Because they try to kill me, but I use wall jumps around, he uh, around here to my advantage and manage to survive. And I'm still dishing out a lot of damage. So yeah, that's what I mean, just staying safe. Bart actually got a sick ult, 3 man, that's very good. And that allows us to get Drake so and from this point I knew it was one. I'm already super strong and now I just got a lot more damage. Yeah, so they actually FF'd I think, yeah. So yeah, that's gonna be the game. Let me know if you guys enjoyed and if you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.